Good evening, I'm Juhi Rajput and you're watching Empowering India, a program that showcases government and private sector companies contributing in the economic development of the nation. The performance of these organizations has set a benchmark in their respective domains. The first company we'll talk about is Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council. BIRAC was set up by Government of India as Department of Biotechnology's Interface Agency to serve as a single window for the emerging biotech industries. It has completed five years of incorporation and these five years have been full of energy and activity. It has successfully reached out to a large number of stakeholders in India and overseas. India is a fast-growing nation and it is predicted that by 2025, it would be the third largest economy in the world. A big component of this economy would be contributed by biotechnology industry that touches the lives of every citizen of India through healthcare, food and nutrition, agriculture, energy and environment. There is a concerted effort to make India a vibrant bioeconomy with revenues touching 100 billion US dollars by 2025. This effort is being led by the Department of Biotechnology, DBT, which has provided a template for growth over the last three decades combining basic and translational research. Further boost in creating a vibrant bioeconomy was provided when DBT established Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, BIRAC, in 2012 as a not-for-profit company with the sole aim to invigorate the biotech ecosystem of the country through ignition, incubation and innovation and catalyze the industry's growth to greater heights through globally excellent biotech products and processes. BIREC uh, as a public sector was set up by the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology in 2012. The main focus of BIREC is on creating and nurturing the whole biotech innovation ecosystem. The mandate which was given to BIREC was how can we promote industry academia interface, how can we help our entrepreneurs to take their innovations across the product development value chain and how can we create the enablers for this whole ecosystem to flourish. And it's with this purpose that BIREC has over the last five years focused on these aspects of the biotech innovation ecosystem. We are looking at not only working with the young students and entrepreneurs, but the researchers within the country and trying to see how we leverage international partnerships to bring in the best practices and also to give access to our entrepreneurs for the larger ecosystem which exists globally. As BIRAC turns five years old, the consequence if we did not have BIRAC and if we magically remove BIRAC now, you would see the disappearance of extraordinary successes in entrepreneurship and innovation over the last five years, which BIRAC has enabled. It's enabled ignition from the finishing academia who want to become entrepreneurs, partnership with industry at early stage to start up your companies, and partnership at later stages, uh, and also all the way up to commercialization in different ways. All of this is possible because BIRAC was established. So BIRAC clearly has, by this deletion test, filled a major gap. So BIRAC's value, therefore, now must be judged not just by the gap it filled, but how it can continue to fill other major gaps which are there. Over the last five years, BIRAC has transformed several aspects of the biotech industry in the country by funding product development from ideation to scale up. BIRAC has always believed that the agents of change for the future will be the startups and the SMEs. It has created a sea change in the biotech culture of the country by funding 300 startup and entrepreneurs who are building and validating their products. Currently about 8 lakh babies die every year because they are not able to breathe at birth. Uh, commonly known as babies, baby did not cry at birth. All of them can be saved through a process called resuscitation and it's currently very difficult. We have built the world's first foot-operated resuscitation system, which makes it very easy to save the life of such babies. And therefore, we hope to save the life of lakhs of babies by empowering frontline healthcare workers uh, to save lives easily. Pyrec has helped us in many ways, uh, not least of which is by providing much required funding, which we were able to leverage to secure IP, to do research and development. And also the whole Pyrec community uh, provides a lot of inspiration and insights at the time when we need it. The innovation is the development of a novel magnetic immunocapture based method for the diagnosis of bacterial gastroenteritis. Bacterial gastroenteritis in layman's terms is diarrhea. 
like diarrhea is a major problem in the world, uh, worldwide, especially in India, in under under five year old children, and. Uh, the diagnosis for diarrhea, however, is not available in most parts of India. It's available in tertiary care hospitals and in big cities. Well, most of India, like about two thirds of Indians live in rural settings. So they don't have access to a specific diagnosis wherein you can identify the agent causing bacterial gastroenteritis or diarrhea. Bayrak has played a very important role in this journey because we had the idea, we had the device, we even patented it, but we did not have the funding and this kind of Experiments require a fair amount of funding and it's typically difficult to get this funding from R&D agencies, conventional R&D agencies. So Bayrak came forward to fund us and this was very helpful. Without Bayrak's help, we could not have taken this project so far. We might not even have perceived this idea. The essence of Bayrak has been its speed, at which it is trying to transform the ecosystem and the impact it has caused on the ground, solving national and global challenges. Bayrak has 500 researchers and entrepreneurs helping them take their ideas forward to commercialization. It has supported 20 bio incubators with more than 200,000 square feet of incubation space, including tinkering labs across the country, which nurture and mentor biotech startups, thus aligning with the Startup India mission of the country. Further, Bayrak has also given boost to the Make in India program by accelerating biotech product commercialization. More than 50 products and technologies ranging from vaccines, medical devices and diagnosis for human and animal health, industrial biotech and improved varieties of crops that have greater nutritional value. Together, these products will improve the nation's health and happiness indices, enriching and impacting people's lives. The other larger aspect is the mentor network that we've been able to create. All these young entrepreneurs have been able to get access to this mentor network. They've also been able to network along with a number of other global mentor networks through our partnerships that we have created with countries such as the US, the UK through the Gates Foundation, Wellcome Trust, USAID, Nesta Partnership. The incubator that we've supported at CCAM Bangalore has established the first Indo-US sister innovation hub with QB3. This gives an opportunity for the incubators to exchange incubators and give them in-residence programs. Several lessons have been learned in the last five years of Bayrak journey. As Bayrak peers into the future, it will explore to create multitudes of pathways to amplify its impact. Bayrak will redouble its efforts to reach its stated goals. We hope that as Bayrak moves in the next four to five years, the whole biotech innovation ecosystem would be a vibrant ecosystem. Bayrak would play the center point where we would be able to catalyze all the stakeholders, all our partners to be able to then come together and make this ecosystem such that it's not only vibrant within the country, but we become global players. This is something we can achieve. Our startups are ready for it. I think we've energized them enough. We have the energy levels. It's important to see how we provide that ignition to be able to take this energy to the level that which we are expecting we would be able to be in the global arena in 2025 and this target is something which is doable Bayrak is working towards it we are looking at getting more partners with us and these stakeholders and partners would play a critical role in helping Bayrak to move to its target problem with the future is that it's extraordinarily difficult to predict uh, one can analyze the past, one knows the past, but what is the future going to be like? And the best way to be prepared for the future is to train people of quality so that they are ready to face any unknown unknowns. For this, Bayrak must have a strategy by which its training programs, human resource development programs in entrepreneurship must amplify nationally. There are three components to this amplification the curation of ideas, making them attractive to young entrepreneurs. Secondly, is mentoring these entrepreneurs through the system so that the early stage is as minimizes all the hassles. And thirdly, as they grow, to broker their enterprises through a very complex pipeline which we have so that they can go through all the bottlenecks. If we focus on training people for these kinds of three components, no matter what the problems are, then we are prepared for the future. Bayrak is poised to create a deeper and wider shift in the Indian biotech landscape and unleash an era of innovation. Indeed, Bayrak's impact will touch a billion lives and more. 
BIRAC's vision is to enhance the strategic research and innovation capabilities of the Indian biotech industry for creation of affordable products for larger sections of society.